Yo there guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nashi Vlogs. And today, we're going to be talking about how the current world epidemic, also known as the coronavirus, or COVID-19, is going to affect the UK theme park industry and the UK funfair industry in 2020. Now, before I even start, I am not the best person to be talking about this. I'm not a medical professional. I'm a qualified first, first aider. So, you know, like, I'm not the best person to be talking about this. Um, go on NHS England website and they have all the advice on how to try not to contract uh, coronavirus. Now, the main reason why I want to talk about why it's going to affect the UK theme park industry and the fun fair. Now, it's, it's weird living in a world right now where hundreds and thousands of people are dying, millions even, are dying every day. It's weird being living in a world like this at the moment um obviously yesterday um the government announced that from next week they a new initiative is going to come in where mass gatherings are going to be banned um now this isn't good. I'll tell you why it isn't good. Because mass gatherings could be from anything. That could be from church. It could be sport events. Now, they've said that churches are still going to go ahead because that is a human right. Everyone has the right to believe in whatever religion they want. But, um, mass gatherings being banned is not good. The cinemas will be closed. Theatres will be closed, bars, they've said, will be open during daylight hours only, but people have to sit at least two metres away from each other. And this ban of mass gatherings is going to affect UK theme parks, because it is thousands of people are going to theme parks every day when they're open, you know? So it is going to affect theme parks. Um, Within the last, within the last 24 hours, uh, the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, or the making of Harry Potter as it's known, has announced that it will be closed. Uh, it will be temporarily closed due to this, and it's going on effect from 8 p.m. on Monday, the 16th of March. And it's potentially going on until the third of April. Now, that is the first UK attraction to close because of this virus. Over in America, pretty much all the Six Flags parks are now closed. No one knows what's happening next. On the day of filming, it's the Chesington Annual Pass preview day. Obviously, we've just had Legoland Windsor open. We've got Chesington opening next week. Uh, I will be there on the 19th. I'm going to be there next Thursday. For opening day. Uh, and also the opening day for the new rainforest area. So look out for a video on that. Or videos coming out on that soon. And then we've also got Fort Park opening at the end of March as well. Now if these mass gatherings... But the ban of mass gatherings go ahead, it means we will, could we potentially not see Chesington or Fort open for a while? Now, this is the thing, the ban, the ban of mass gatherings, we don't know how long this is going to be for. This could be for weeks, could be for months. You know, no one quite knows the, the scale of how much it's going to affect people. Obviously, the fun feds, it's going to affect them because... They're not going to make their money. It's not good because people aren't going to go out. It's 
it's not looking good. One thing I will say, going back about Fort Park, I'm going to put this out there and a few people may agree with me. I personally think Darren Brown's Ghost Train, Rise of the Demon, will not open at the start of the season this year. I cannot see it opening until later on in the season. Now, the reason before this is because if you don't know, Darren Brown's Ghost Train uses HTC Vive virtual reality headset and they have to disinfect them. Now, they will have to double disinfect them now, which means it will make it a lot slower and it's going to be a crap show. Or these, or the easiest thing they're going to do is not open it until the coronavirus thing is all blown over. Yeah, I can't see it. I can't see Darren Brown's Ghost Train opening at the start of the season. I will be massively surprised if it is. It's already been confirmed to be opening at 12 noon, as always. But yeah, it's going to affect us massively. And I think it's also going to affect vloggers such as myself, Ryan, and all, all my vlog stars, past and present. It's going to affect us massively. Uh, especially if they, they're also thinking about putting us in self-isolation as well. Saying, um, oh, sorry, lockdown sorry for two weeks now yes we we're getting told we don't have to stay in our homes but everything will be shut shops everything it's it's insane i if anything i will not be surprised if four if anything doesn't open this year if the mass gatherings does go ahead like the mass gatherings back go ahead anyway that's enough of me talking um comment below your thoughts what do you think is going to happen Will we see Chesington and Fort open? I don't know. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. Go check out all the new videos that have literally been released this morning. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.